14 to 2, maybe either. It doesn't matter. It was it was ugly. Uh, and 100 Blifted have found themselves in shambles, really, after map one tried to find a way to bounce back up against this star-studded juggernaut that is Team Solo mid. We'll see the opening uh, wow. moments of the map. It looks like T uh, 100 Blifted, excuse me, is a hard play over on B. You see on the mini-map, uh, the spike is headed that way. Cutler has spotted one. Sabrosa is able to put initial things to slow it down. Cutler not able to land the shots, but Drone is as Morg drops as well. Two members left for 100 Blifted. And, you know, before we... This round is about to really fall apart here for the side of 100 Blifted. They get the spike down. Yes, there's some extra credits. I mean, it is the pistol. Still a possibility. But let's talk about that agent selection real quick. Uh, oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Sony, you're, you're going to... Okay. It's close. You're about to do it to him, but it's Sabrosa. He'll clean up. We've got a Reyna. And we have a Viper. And so, if you think back to some of the earlier matches, um, we did go to Ascent. Last time, TSM against Homeless. And that was a map that Homeless barely made their way through. TSM just had such a stranglehold. But they didn't play Viper. Do you think that this is... I mean, I hate to say this, but... Not a lack of respect, but like... I feel comfortable enough that whatever agent I'm playing, I will still win. Or, similar to, you know... Uh, some of the previous tournaments that really have a lot less weight. or And considering this best of three has a lot less weight. Are they trying things out? to see how they would feel against a team that could potentially take rounds off them? Yeah, I think so. I think it's more that than just blatant disrespect. Viper just got a bunch of buffs. People are talking about how legit she might be. Uh, and you've got the rest of the tournament pretty secure, right? At least you know that you're getting into the playoff stages so you can afford to risk a little bit. Holy oh! smokes, oh, Rosa. What the heck, man? <laughs> he just gets on out of there. He's like, I am seeing you oh! later. Comes back for more, and it's the double kill for him. Four on the round. They want him to get the ace. He is now leading the charge on the opposite side. It's Greg. Oh, and the long distance judge. He will oh, that's oh, the switch no. to the pistol. Oh, baby. And it's the jump judge shot from Drone. TSM kick us off with the 2-0. Sorry, what I, before that happened <laughs> uh, on camera. I think one, one of the things that I was mentioning was you can afford to gamble a little bit. You can afford to try something new, something different that might prove to be a pocket pick uh, later on in the tournament. Again, Viper was a, and has been really a joke um, for the, the longevity of the game, but the different changes that just took place in this most recent patch uh, can have a drastic impact on that. So I don't necessarily mind this pick. What I do mind uh, is Hayes wasn't able to get that pick. Ninja, however, gets the best of Wardell as the opening frag of the round goes down. You know, based on how we've seen TSM control the middle of the map for the past two rounds, I think we might see that a little bit more. Of course, the gun round for 100 Blifted will make them feel a little bit more afraid to get involved. To Broza, that is a great use of the dismiss there. And unfortunately, we'll see no one on the catwalk now with the Leer. Look at how involved he's getting. Um, pushing up forward, having control of the middle. That really makes the attackers scared to peek, quite frankly, when you don't feel like you've got control, already losing so many members uh, in the battle of control for B, or at least for the courtyard. It's not looking good, but we'll see how the remaining two members drone, the jump judge. <laughs> Man, that's clip. Ship that to Reddit. Oh, no. Drone, baby. Oh, no. Yeah, this really feels like, again, TSM... Just kind of styling uh, on 100 lifted a little bit here. Sony's able to get one. He's going to get cleaned up. The third kill going in the pocket of Subrosa. But think about you've got entry in Phoenix. You've got entry in Reyna. You've got entry in Jet. Like TSM is communicating with their draft that they're just going to run at you or dash at you if you're Jet. And there's not a whole lot you can do. You When you've got that level of pressure, if you aren't fundamentally sound, you're going to get exposed. And that's what we've seen so far. Um, yeah, I, you know, you know, Doug, I just got to be honest with you. 100 Blifted, they really tried on the, on the first half of Haven, and I thought they made some good strides. Mm -hmm. I think on a map like Ascent, like, it'll be near impossible to get around with how mm -hmm. TSM is playing right now. They're playing so damn aggressive 
They're not letting 100 Blifted even have the opportunity to have a look at what this site looks like. Um, after those pistols, they are not even letting them in whatsoever. It's just frag after frag. It's a highlight reel. Um, and they can find picks here or there for the side of 100 Blifted, but TSM, they're just way too powerful. Yeah, this is um, a proper stomp. A banger, if you will. Sub Rosa at 13 and 1. Cutler and Wardell just just got uh, kills, uh, I believe, on that round. Hazed has yet to die or kill anyone or even deal damage uh, in a meaningful way. And that's how, how brutal this has been for 100 Blifted. It's been all Sub Rosa. The rest of TSM hasn't even really had the chance to play the game. Uh, and 100 Blift, it's still kind of getting slapped around. So this is a a, a, a painfully brutal map on, on T side. That's worth calling out. Um, but I don't know that side difference is the equalizer here. That's going to be the swing drone just doing drone things. The judge, uh, I think they're, I think this map may be TSM sending a message to the Riot development team. That the judge, uh, sometimes it's providing a little bit too much power to the law. Um, TSM have been using it nonstop, but the round ahead does look like 100 Blifted could kind of swing it back into their favor. And with a frag like that, it's just down to Cutler. And he himself also has a judge. So <laughs> we'll see what he can do in a 1v3, but it looks like 100 Blifted are able to actually put a round on the board. Well, don't count them out quite yet. We've seen crazier things in the past, but this is certainly a win, right? You Being able to at least get the spike life. down. They're going to get the res as well. Uh, and it's not like TSA, it's not like Cutler needs to save uh, per se. They've been in firm control. Uh, they've been able to do whatever the heck they want uh, on the map. So I don't expect him uh, to fully save, but this is this is a difficult retake no matter what. Having a look at the camera, and unfortunately that camera will come up empty-handed. But this may be the shot that you will remember for the rest of your lives. Cutler, as they'll now start to push forward, the judge finds one as he now will get sprayed through the wall. <laughs> oh, Grego, it's around 400 Blifted, and you know we, we asked ourselves at the beginning of Haven, was it 12-0 possible? And they found a round early, and they'll find another round early here, so... Um, the reason why I say that and why I say 100 Blifted, I'm afraid they might get 12-0'd, it's because up against certain teams, TSM has 12-0'd amateur teams trying to get signed by rosters. Mm -hmm. And so I have to give 100 Blifted that same level of respect that they feel like an amateur unsigned team. And as a result, that means the TSM, they've got better strats, they practice day in, day out, they frag better. We're seeing that here. So I have to anticipate a potential 12-0. Once we get to attack, or sorry, once 100 Blifted defend, we might see more space. We might see more rounds come their way. I mean, just look at look at what Wardell's doing. Yeah. He's doing it with the judge. He's not even like... He's, he's, he's playing Call of Duty right now. That's how brutal this has been for 100 Blifted. One member left uh, on the side of... 100 Blifted, and he's not going to be up for very long. More gets caught, sliced and diced like sashimi. Wardell gets the best of them, 5-1. to one. Uh, And the truth is, it's early. It's only four rounds separating these two squads. Uh, but TSM is head and shoulders above 100 lifted here. You know, that play-by-play -play really gave me some bad memories. I think Sashimi has given me some food poisoning one time. Ooh. I was up puking for hours, man. It was Yikes, it was dude. it was not good. So um <laughs> I don't mean to feel so bad. Sad, I don't mean dude. to make you feel bad. You're definitely not the cause of it. It was whoever made the sashimi. That's However, a shame. um it's uh it wasn't a good time, I'll tell you that. Uh well, hopefully your next experience with a uh, raw fish prepared by a stranger is oh. much more fruitful. Ninja able to get the opening tap with a fruitful performance of his own. Not able to get Wardell, though, with the judge. Again, sentence has been brought. The anvil has been dropped as well. And Wardell, it continues to run right at 100 Blifted. Yep, still 
four that remain, and it's the man advantage for 100 Blifted. They'll use the running back to clear out the site, but it's Wardell. He's thirsty. One more frag will give him another Tailwind. And so that'll put him in another position to get some damage done. That's going to be the Judge, and unfortunately, it's going to find its mark, and now he'll escape with one HP. Cutler there will help support from a distance, and now in the face of danger, it's Sony with the Sheriff, and there's a couple of deputies. Oh, but Drone the Limbo makes it through the door. Showstopper seals the deal, and it's 100 lifted off of, quite honestly, uh, a crazy wild round. They'll find the win. I mean... And good, and good on them, I guess, <laughs> on 100 Blifted. Uh, but the problem is here. Let, okay, let's take a serious, a serious look at what's happening. The score is five to two. TSM is still not. Well, now they're starting to get rifles, but up until this point, they haven't even all been using rifles, and they have the lead that they have. Once they turn it on, right? Like once they start. I, I hate to say this. Once they start actually playing, it's gonna get even worse. Ninja looking for some early picks with the op, but time comes up relatively empty-handed. I like the wall there. Viper mains. Keep an eye out. That's a great wall to stop the op play from the side of the catwalk. As we are now seeing TSM give up complete control of the A site, uh... but now it's Ninja. He's caught between a rock and a hard place, to be quite honest. The judge, even paranoid, will get the job done. And now the rest of the team say, who's next? Who's our next opponent? They'll push in towards, but little do they know Drone does not check his angle. It's Morg that'll take him down, and after backing away, it's the rest of 100 Blifted trying to find the opportunity to keep the round at bay. Morg will find Sabrosa, and still it's that spike that's ticking down. Hey, the TSM is just running at 100 Blifted like a death ball, right? They're just this, like, mass of, of carnage that 100 Blifted hasn't been able to figure anything out up against, but it is a 2v2 here. The spike is down. Wardell's looking to play this aggressively, trying to tag people up. He's going to get taken out as is Hayes. And 100 Blifted put up another a, a very important round to try to keep this at least respectable. Still, at this point, <laughs> the consistent judge buys <laughs> really tell us a, a, a different side of the story the fact that tsm are able to still do what they do with the judges um i wonder i wonder really what that tells us about the weapon like let's hypothetically say that tsm feel confident enough to just close this out and and, oh, no. and, 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 and be done with it right so my question becomes is the judge great or is it great against a team like 100 lifted well you know? they're running three judges here again uh so we're gonna get an <laughs> opportunity to find out where dell's gonna get a chance uh, here in just a few moments as he peeks through hasn't spotted anyone yet but he's just on the other side of the cage i love the way he's playing this not being too aggressive which is kind of insane for me to say given how wordell has played this map so far yeah poison cloud of course going to be up ninja spots one as he's up there on the doorway haze will take him out and survive with just one armor 76 hp while the rest of 100 lifted after losing their Beloved Ninja in the middle will still try and look towards the B site. It's the team that is hovering around the catwalk as well, looking for an opportunity to push in towards the middle. But it's Hayes who's being quite pesky. And they are going to try to smoke him out from both sides. While the rest of TSM, they're ready to get involved. Wardell will take out Grego. And it's the rest of 100 Blifted that are now responsible for getting that spike up. Sony from a distance will find one. Things are starting to get a little bit more close as Lex will find another. TSM just down to three with 100 bullets that still need to find a place to put that spike down. It's a pretty cool skin by Sony, too, by the way. I, I like that skin. That was a, that was a different variant um, from what I've seen. 17 seconds left on the clock in a 3v3 here. TSM has one member who's certainly worse for wear uh, oh. as far as health goes. They're going to have to get a move on, man. Bust a move. Morg's able to take care of Cutler as they try to get onto the site. Hayes is going to drop. That's going to leave things in a 1v3. Wardell... If there was ever somebody who we would want in a 1v3, it'd be Wardell. And, folks, believe it or not, he's dropped the judge. He's got a real gun now. Unfortunately, I mean, if he gets a frag... Uh-oh, he's about to meet the Owl Drone. Uh-oh, he's about to get involved. He's looking for frags. He's going to find Sony. One more will swing. It's Lex. He's oh down. Gosh. Down to the 1v1 from distance. It's going to be Morg. It hasn't peaked him quite yet. The pre-fires are good. And 
Oh, we'll see him at the last second. Tailwind, of course, going to come through. Might try to stick the Diffuse here, but it's Mork who's going to be trying to spray through the wall. Spray is not going to connect. He's down to 18. Still might be able to stick it here, but Mork, he's looking for the peak and the nice. crouch. Cannot crouch hard enough as Morg will take him down. And it's 100 lifted that tie us up 5-5, five to five, keeping things close. I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to... Sure, on, on paper, they're keeping things close. But again, we haven't seen... And I, I feel bad saying this, but we haven't seen TSM play. Right? Like, we haven't seen him buy full guns. Wardell's still rocking the judge. Uh, and we just saw in the, in the closing moments of that round, we saw what happens when he picks up a Phantom. So if they continue to play at this, it, it might be close for a little while, but 100 lifted to be to be just very blunt, brutally blunt. They're just severely outclassed in every every single facet of the game. Yeah. I mean, that also really aids to the fact how great TSM as a team is, right? Like, they're top three in an A, and in a match like this, what else do you expect other than TSM putting up a phenomenal fight? Mm -hmm. Well, sorry, not phenomenal fight. They're having a little bit more fun, but if things really got started to get a little bit more involved, you would see TSM turn up the heat. You know what I mean? Like, right now, they're just having a good time. Um, but 100 Blifted, they're playing for real. They are putting their best foot forward. They find two picks early onto TSM. That's good. Still the 4v3, and TSM have the opportunity to make it back, but see how they do. It's Sabrosa that, even with the spray blindly, almost tagged. I think he tagged Morg down to 88, but now here comes the Viper Spitty. That'll dissipate quite quickly, and that's Morg with two. Still down to one. It's Clutchler. Can he clutch things out? There's still going to be three on the side. They'll try to spray him out. That's the Shock Dart as well. We'll take him down to 79. Morg ready with the flank up into heaven. And now, as they will start to hear him drop down but he's trying to keep it quiet here comes the swing there's one cannot find the second and it's another round on the board for 100 lifting we're knotted up five to five okay yeah just a really nice play there by morgue i believe that was a three piece for him but 100 lifted is as at least for now keeping it uh respectable but it it's it's gonna take more then that Sabros is still popping off, 15 and 7. He's having himself a field day hazed again. Hasn't even really played the game a ton. Oh, I like this. I like what 100 Blifted is setting up here. See if they can catch Wardell off the spawn. No, oh, Ninja, you gotta hit that. You don't get many opportunities like that. Not able to land the opening shot on the ob misses. That's a that's a tough jumping shot. Uh, anyway, 100 Blifted had the right idea. They had a cool set piece, but just not able to execute. He's going to find one. Apologies for earlier. I really thought for some reason it was 5-4. Now it's 5-5. Five, five. Sorry, I thought it was 5-4 when it was 5 uh, Whatever. Point being, <laughs> apologies. Mistakes have been made. Um, seeing some early looks at some frags. 100 lifted, finding some great opportunities when it's for TSM just down to three. We've seen how deadly Sabrosa can really be uh, on the reina there. So Ninja gathering information. Might even actually commit, and indeed he will. Doesn't know that Cutler is on the opposite side and now having a look in towards the fish market. Will he find some fish? Will Clutchler come forward? That's going to be a showstopper that gets denied very early by the spray from the Cypher himself. And now it's just down to Ninja, and they know exactly where he is. Thirty seconds left, so you got to keep that in mind as well. A one v two. Uh, here in favor of TSM, the spike has not been picked up. Ninja's going to get a chance at somebody here in just a moment. It's going to be Drone. Yep, just on the other side of that wall there. Ninja is, is an op. That's definitely not the weapon you want in an up-close-and-personal situation. Meanwhile, a Drone is more equipped. But we've seen crazy shots like this hit before. With three seconds left on the clock. We'll see if anyone decides to make a play here. Ninja just waiting. Drone just waiting. Nobody moving. Like two ships passing in the night. Moving on to the next round. TSM got themselves a little lead here. Of course, we tied up at some point, but oh, this is a nice spot. they are having a good time. Sh judges online, of course, we see that round after round. 
Economy is a little close. You know, for the side of TSM, I think Hazed, not really having enough to buy, will end up, end up purchasing the Vandal. But here comes Wardell, looking to get involved. He'll be dealt with quite handily by Grego. Now the rest of the team still looking to try to avenge their fallen comrade, but playing a little bit safer. This is that boom bot actually won't spot anyone. Finds Sabroza at the end there. and That's the paint shells. Forces Sabroza to back away. And we'll see how 100 Blifted handled this last and final round. Ninja with a nice shot there, getting the best of Haze. A 4v3 slightly, but ever in favor of 100 Blifted here. Doesn't look like the spike is going to be in play anytime soon. Now we see members of 100 Blifted start to rotate over. It looks like the spike's going to be picked up. And for now, they may have license to get on to B. Grego's going to be toting the spike. And yeah, there's not, I mean, there's utility there on the side of Cypher to be able to sniff it out. Uh, and try to impede it as best as they can, but they don't have personnel there. There's the run it back. It's going to clear things out, and that's going to be everything that TSM needs to know in order to get their cutlers waiting in the smoke, seeing if he can spot anyone. Drop down, he's able to get one. He's going to get an opportunity at a second one here as Cutler peeks around the corner. Ninja, up close and personal with the op, is able to get the kill. Oh, but Drone, he's ready. That's going to be Ninja that moves over, and it's the Judge that mows them all down. Now the Judge, the curveball. We'll seal the deal on the fate of the last and final member. It's Sony giving us a 7-5 scoreline for the first half. Now Ascent. This is 100 Blifted's opportunity to take us to map number 3. This is their chance. They're playing on defense. It's a defender-sided map. TSM, regardless of how powerful um, they may be, top 3 in an A, this is 100 Blifted's chance to say, hey, we're going to deny you the 2-0. And we're going to take this to map number three, which the map veto was done in the chat. So I don't actually know uh, what that third map is. I'm sure our production team will let us know. But this is an opportunity for 100 Blifted. They can hold strong. They can stop the TSM pushes. We'll see if they're able to do so. I'll find them. Looks like it's going to be an opening push on to B. A heavy stack. Uh, TSM Morg is going to be the first line of defense. The Viper's wall, Viper's wall, excuse me, is going to go up. Morg sees what he needs to see and gets out Ninja with a very nice paranoia there. He's going to get flashed and he's going to have to back off. TSM is just able to glide their way in. Wardell dashes in, gets the kill, and continues on his merry way. And look at them, they're hunting for blood. TSM just continues to run at 100 Blifted. Just down to Sabroza now for the attack. It's the 1v2. It's still very doable, might I add, for a Sabroza. But for the side of 100 Blifted, they could take him out if they know exactly where he is. So he might move over towards planting that spike down. Of course, it is Lex and Grego that now have to walk through their own slow orb <laughs> uh, to get onto the site where Sabroza is located. But I like this rotate play. I don't think they anticipate him to be not in the back of sight, but rather over here the whole time. That's Grego, though! That'll take him out. A great round at that for the side of 100 Blifted. They'll keep things in contention. Close to TSM. And for those that may be wondering if 100 Blifted are capable of closing things out here, taking us to map number three, if they keep continuing that good fight against TSM, we will be going to split. It's the last and final map, which is still, at the end of the day, just as Ascent attacker sided. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but look, 100 Blifted still has uh, a lot to go before they get there. They're going to be rocking the triple judge here with a specter, and I believe that was a ghost uh, to top things off. A little sprinkle at the top uh, to try to get what they need in order to get past TSM Morg. I like that play out of him here. Try to buy him enough time. Yikes, but Morg, once again, the judge to the face. Wardell drops early on. Still, they're going to make TSM pay with some judges of their own. Ninja and Morg will get the job done. A flawless round for 100 Blifted. Wow. Uh, keeping it close. TSM, of course. Uh, for those of you that have no clue what's going on or maybe just joining maybe your first ever Valorant experience, this is a group stage match for the PAX Arena Invitational. Oh, yeah. um, an Ignition Series stop for North America. TSM, regardless win or lose, they move on to the playoff stage. And for the side of 100 Blifted, win or lose, they do not move on to the playoff stage. So 
If you might see TSM having a little bit more fun, if you might see 100 Blifted having a little bit more fun, it is because, you know, the result of this map match doesn't really matter in the group stage scheme of things. Ninja, gonna get his chance here. And Sony is as well. Sony pushes in to the decay, pushes out, and he's able to get one, not able to get the other. However, as Sub Rosa makes quick work, work of him, he's gonna heal himself up. Grego with the op, looking to see if he can spot anyone. Nothing doing yet. This is a 3v2 in favor uh, of TSM. Make that a 3v1. Just down to Lex here. He's gonna get the spray down from TSM, and they're back in the lead, eight to seven. Things are, of course, definitely close for the side of TSM. And now with the gun round out of the way, will they continue their domination? Will they continue to push forward? And quite frankly, on a map like this, you know, considering the rounds, it doesn't feel like a domination. But you know, as much as I'd like to say Judge is a, a like a great top tier end of the line weapon. It is still the Vandals and the Operators that reign supreme. So to see it does kind of aid to the fact that TSM are having a little bit more fun. And so uh, I wonder how the match would have looked like if they if they just all out, nonstop, strat after strat, guns blazing, you know? Ouch. Jeez. It'd be a that. It'd be a whole lot of that. He's <laughs> able to get the best um, of Lex. You see Wardell come from up top and gets pulled right back down. To solid ground by Ninja with the judge of his own. Cutler looking to see if he can tag anyone up. Ninja's going to try uh, to stay alive as long as he can. But he's going to get blinded early on and cleaned up as well. Sub Rosa giving him the business. And just like that, TSM, they find one round and 100 Blifted pull it right back underneath their feet. Tied up 8-8. Eight to eight. TSM had the weaponry online, and now it is not looking so good for them. Economy, of course, now starting to favor 100 Blifted. And like I said, this is their opportunity to take us to map number three. And for them, uh, that would mean really, you know, quite honestly, now that I think about it, um, it would go down to a tiebreaker between TSM and Homeless. But I think TSM would win that tiebreaker considering they beat Homeless, right? Like, that makes sense in the tiebreaker scheme, right? So... Even if it went to a tiebreaker, uh, they would still be first seed moving on to the playoffs. But 100 Blifted, they want to prove um, that they can roll with the big big dogs. And it starts here with a play like that. Well, sorry, that, that's good for TSM. But it starts here with their ability to keep things close against TSM. Wardell is unbelievable. Able to get two uh, with the Blade Storm and looking for more. There's the run it back. You hear it's been dropped. He's trying to drop some smokes by himself some time. Morg is going to get blinded out. Has to back off uh, at least a bit. And you can hear the spike going down. The run it back drops. Wardell decides to go aggressive. Waiting on the other side of the wall there. You hear the Viper's Pit uh, become a factor as well. As Drone takes care of Morg. Sub Rosa takes care of Sony. And TSM continues to take care of 100 Blifted with a flawless round. Just when 100 Blifted uh, <laughs> find themselves some victories, it's TSM having a quick look at Wardell. This is just Wardell things. This is when the AMG is out of the shop and in the garage. He feels the whole world of confidence uh, on his shoulders. And you'll see the blade storm come out. It'll slice. It'll dice. The sashimi for Doug is ready to be delivered and served. And now, as we are seeing the next rounds to follow suit, it's TSM that have yet again have the round lead. All right. Now we see Wardell with an op as well. Morik has gotten a couple of picks uh, in the opening moments with an op. We'll see if he's able uh, to keep that up. I didn't see if he had one in his pocket, but we do know what Wardell does. It sounds like he's missed. Lex gets the first one, but Hayes and Drone are able to clean up with a couple of their own. Sabrosa gets one as well, and 100 Drone lifted drop over. like flies. Still down to two here, 400 lifted, and they've got four that they have to deal with. That's the wall that's going to be going out for more. Here comes the swing from Drone, but of course, at the end of the day, it was just a clone. And now Morg trying to get a little bit more information as he pushes forward. Curveball's clearing his path. It's just down to him. Sony already out of the picture. He was taken out by one of the TSM members. And now with the hot hands, somehow lands perfectly on his body. And that Phoenix spray really does signify how good Drone is on the Phoenix. Probably one of the best Phoenix entries in North America. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a, a pretty, pretty tall... 
uh, tall title when you think about players like GMD for the side of Gen G um, that have also done a great job of IGLing from the Phoenix slot, but it's Drone um, that is in a whole other league of his own. Yeah, Drone at 16 and 11, having himself a field day. Wardell uh, no longer has the op, going for something a bit more rambunctious, uh, if you will. Not able to get uh, a kill in the opening moments of the round. Ninja, you see him start to peek. He did spot one, tries to deal a little bit of damage with the wall bang. Looked like he tagged up Haze just enough to make him think twice about it. Lex is able to get the best of Sub Rosa. Ninja takes care of Haze as well. He's about to get challenged. Drone? You've heard and peeked, but didn't spot him. Yep, Drone is able to get one. He's going to curveball around. Ninja's flashed up. He's going to go in. He's going to wow. get cleaned up. Ninja with some clean shots. You hear the Hunter's Fury come out by Sony. Looks oh. like, yeah, he's going to be able to get the kill onto Wardell. That's going to leave one member on the side of TSM. Cutler, you've done things like this before, but you ain't doing it this time. Ninja with the third kill of the round, 100 blifted, gets the ninth round of the map. Yeah, um, things are close. Things are close. And that recon bolt at the end really sealed Cutler's fate. So now moving on to the next round. Don't have very many left. We are double digits for TSM and 100 lifted one away from those double digits themselves. TSM judges no longer as they've got assault rifles on deck. Operator as well in the hands of Wardell. And we've seen how that can really start to cook up. And so as now the round before us unfolds it's wardell that does not connect it with grego unfortunately had the boom bot in hand but that ruba will not be cleaning up anything as he gets taken out drone as well gets a little bit more involved in the courtyard and ninja will pay that price so still down to the 4v3 for the remaining 100 lifted members and you see the spike on the mini map by tsm cheating around over on the a side they've been walled off so it looks like they're just gonna wait it out uh they there aren't excuse me a ton of defenses uh on the side of 100 lifted here you see the phoenix still on the other side of the map lexus spotted one tries tagging him up gets tagged up in return uh and for now it's just biding his time now he's gonna get challenged gets one color trades it back out however and gets right back out tony sees haze then unfortunately lose that loses that gun duel morgue now Last one standing. This puts TSM at 11 to 9. If he cannot really clutch things out, but here comes the curveball, and he's gonna actually. I think some. I think it's the toxic screen that allowed him to dodge it. But there's a lot of utility, and I'm not really sure he knows exactly where he is. I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, there's just so much going on, and Hayes. You'll see Phoenix's beloved haircut pop through the toxic screen, and it's more that will end up falling. 11 to 9. The scoreline. TSM. Very close to closing this out 2-0 and 100 lifted. They're just holding on by a thread. Phoenix really does have great hair, doesn't he? He's got that swagger to him. He's 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 my favorite. Jet is ah, Jet might be my favorite. I lied, but Phoenix is a close second. What's well, not to like? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, listen. Let's save that jury until Killjoy comes out. With not many days left mm -hmm. in the battle pass, mm -hmm. the next uh, act includes a new map, includes a new agent, dubbed as Killjoy. So, may I, and I think the cutout of the hair looks pretty crispy, so we might have a new, new contender. Sure. Yeah, we might have a new contender. All right, we may not have a contender here much longer, uh, as 100 Blifted find themselves on the cusp uh, of dropping this series 0-2 up against Team Solo Mid Ninja and try to TP his way back. Uh, into the back line. He's going to get cleaned up before he's able to finish it off. Drone picks up the spike. It looks like they're going to try to push through mid. Uh, as of, for now, they haven't really committed uh, either which way. Lex walling off just on the entry to Cat. He's going to spot Cutler Morg, able to get the opening kill on this round. Oh, Ninja. That was so close. Sabrosa was in a lot of trouble there. I like the repositioning. You don't really know if he hides towards Pizza. Mm -hmm. And so that, that leaves the 50-50 now as the rest of the defense are holding strong here with him. Well, at least, sorry, it's just it's just Sony. And now the swing tells us that Omen isn't towards Fruit. Sony will find one, though, but now Ninja in a very difficult spot. I like the move, though. In the cyber cage, he goes, and he mm. finds one onto Cutler. A great play. Now just down to Wardell. Spots the haircut that we've been talking about for since forever. And uh, actually Unreal. manages to find the frag there, too. So now the smokes go down. He's got to get the spike. 
And here comes the 1v3. Yeah, Ninja has been brought back into the fold. There it is. The showstopper's been used. He's not going to be able to land the shots. Grego gets the kill. Wardell gets taken out. 100 blifted. Get around. Whew. You know, part of me, I really want to try to give 100 blifted the benefit of the doubt that these rounds are close. Like, I just... As someone that has not seen a lot of TSM, I can't personally gauge how hard they are trying. And that's no discredit to 100 Blifted. I've just seen TSM in the past have a little bit more fun with some of the matches where they feel like they are dominating. And that's been against amateur teams too. That's not just to say like, oh, they feel like it's an influencer team. They're just going to stunt. Like TSM in previous matches um, against teams that have now been signed... I've just walked all over them and started to have a little bit more fun. So now I, I, I'm really thinking the question, considering I haven't seen a lot of TSM um, or a lot of their play, how hard are they really putting in that effort? Uh, because at the beginning, the first half, it didn't really look like a whole lot. And now it seems like they've turned it up. But by how much is the real question. There I go. Trying to bide some time. A rare miss uh, by Wardell. And he's not even going to get the chance to shoot again as Grego takes care of him. He dashes his way onto the site. And they're able to establish at least some semblance of control for the time being. But TSM double down. They want this site. Lex is able to take care of some Rosa drone. Trades it out with a Guardian shot of I his own. Exactly he drops drone with a nice two-piece there. And there's a neutral theft. Yeah, Grego going to find drone. Hayes there with a the refrag. It's the spike that's about to go down still. We saw Morgan in this position before. And unfortunately, it did not really bode well for him. But now he's got the running back. Unfortunate use of the Viper. Spit does find the Viper down below. But now that the Jello has expanded, it's up for Morg to really find another way in. The shots are good from Cutler, and it's match point for TSM. And they are looking good against 100 Blifted. Yeah, I think you're right, Simo. You mentioned that at some point it seems like they turned it on. They, they turned the dial up just a tad. Uh, we don't see uh, three judges anymore. Uh, Wardell still still using one. Uh, but TSM seems like they just want to. They're they're at the point now where they just want to put 100 Blifted away. Uh, and look, you give give the kudos to 100 for to 100 yeah. Blifted. Excuse me for keeping this as close as they have. Right, like yeah. that's still something worth mentioning. As Wardell goes in, dashes. Looks like he gets right back out. He takes a good bit of damage. Uh, but you see on the minimap, folks, it's a strong push on to B. Morg on the other side of the firewall here, waiting for anyone to walk into his crosshair. Grego's able to get one. Morg, but the timing not able to get one. His drone drops him. Grego is going to be coming back from the spawn. He's going to get taken out as well. This time at the hands of Sub Rosa. A numbers advantage oh. to TSM. Yeah, and unfortunately for Sony, tried to avenge his fallen comrade, TSM. They 4 0 their group. Really, I think the only two teams that gave them a lot of trouble were Homeless and 100 Thieves. For 100 Blifted, they were not able to take a map off of TSM. Kept this one close. We saw Grego, who, in my opinion, has been a, a big shining light on the roster of 100 Blifted. In other moments, it's been Lex. In other moments, it's been Morg. Actually, on Haven, it was Lex, right? So different members of the team really stepping up but unfortunately not meant to be not in the cards for them um they kept it close against some of the other teams as well i think built by gamers was a close match between the two it went to overtime both times so again no 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 discredit uh to 100 blifted it was good to see them play it was good to see them pop up and and join the battle here uh, but tsm they're just they're just way too powerful yeah, and I, we mentioned this earlier on in the broadcast. This is an opportunity, this tournament, this weekend, is for TSM to make a statement. Given how well Cloud9 has been playing, given how well Gen G has been playing as of late, you, you, you know, there are conversations that have taken place around, well, does TSM have some competition at the top of the ladder in North America? And this, this TSM that we're seeing uh, seems to be hell-bent on making the statement that they are unrivaled that they are the best, and that they belong at the top and no one else does. Mind you, there's still a lot of tournament to be played, but this TSM looks really good. Yeah. 
Um, so a lot of you may now be wondering or may now, of course, leave the stream since TSM is not playing. I get it. A lot of you probably only came here for TSM. That's fine. That's okay. Doug and I, we will still continue to call the action. It will be Sentinels versus Renegades that we will be covering next. Renegades, of course, a newly signed roster. So we'll get to you and I uh, cover them for the first time. But Sentinels, we've seen time and time again, specifically at the Pulse Invitational, do phenomenally well. That is the team. Those are the two teams that we will be casting next. Doug, any closing thoughts before we throw to a quick break uh, and, and, and kind of cool down for a little while? No. Um, well, I say no, but I am going to say something, naturally. <laughs> 100 Blifted. I mentioned this a few times.